All right, what's up, guys? Pit me here. So let's talk about GTFO. Get the F out. It's a fun game, guys. <clears throat> it's fun. And I'm going to explain to you why it's fun. And this is brought to you by IGN. At the end of C1, one of the many brutal missions currently available in GTFO, your expedition team will be trapped at the bottom of a long forsaken botany lab. An orange circle appears on the floor and everyone... Yeah, so let's see if we can see this orange... See, right here. So this orange circle, when you're getting ready to go through uh, on a mission, <clears throat> this orange circle appears right here. And you and all three of your team members, everybody has to step in this orange circle. And then once that happens, you hit E on the keyboard and that will open up the door. If you got one guy over here screwing around... The door doesn't open. Everybody's got to be standing right here in this orange circle. That's the beginning. That's how get, the game gets started. And then shit starts getting real, guys. It's fun, though, man. This is a fun game. At the top of the screen, the circle lazily paths through the damp corridors and stairwells, and the party of four crams together in its borders, staring down iron sights, shooting at anything that moves. An absolute onslaught of horrific aberrations yep. lay siege to your defenses as GTFO demonstrates just how mean it can be. It is one of the most crushing... So you see these, um, these right here? So these orange circles with these white lines. Once you go, like you're going to, um, to an area, okay? The door's open and then you can hear these creatures coming towards you. These white lines right here, well, they'll all, they'll all branch out in different directions. So each team member has to follow the white lines and stand in the orange circle. All right. So then if this guy's here. He takes care of anything that's coming this way. Same with this guy. But <clears throat> once those creatures start coming, pouring through the, the doorway or whatever, it, it just gets crazy, man. <laughs> you run out of bullets, you get freaking, they sh throw shit at you. It's all, it's crazy, man. So it doesn't. I don't want you guys to think if you just stand in the circle, everything's cool. It's not. Okay? It's not. You'll ever endure in a co-op video game, but the more GTFO See, you just, everybody's heart, running, the more tempting it becomes to develop a dangerous away from that circle. Wavering cruelty. Your objectives differ with each level, but most of the time your team will be asked to dredge up some sort of deserted MacGuffin from the bedrock and return to safety with everyone in one yeah, you just, piece. You know, the, so the like mission you. is, they want you to find something, some kind of mineral or, I don't know, something like that, that's out in, in the world. And you have to go out, bring it, uh, you know, get it, extract it, and then take it back up to the top. So when you first start, everybody's in these, um, <clears throat> it's like you're sitting on, um, I don't know how to say it. Um, it's, it's like a chair that's got these armrests that come around like that. And there's you, two guys here and one guy there. And then it just drops down. And it's pretty intense, man, right from the beginning. It's clear inspiration. Games like Left 4 Dead, Payday, and their ilk. GTFO demands an intense, uncompromising degree of execution. There is no scenario where this is a simple shooting gallery and victory can be achieved. I know, man. It's, it's brutal. Into the horde. Make all the shots count. Instead, it brings to mind the white knuckle logistics of a tough. All right, so this guy's got this big hammer. That's um, that's a good weapon to have, because and I'll show you. I'll show you where the strike point is on these on the enemies. So you can pick up these um, these chem lights right here. And what you do is you just throw them as you're going, so you can see because there's some parts of the map it is really really freaking dark and creepy. Quartet will need to creep through the muck in total silence. Yeah, total science, man. S silence. So if you, if they hear you, we'll need to creep let me show this here. The muck in total silence um, the hit point to alert the right here. That's where you, you want to use this hammer to hit this creature. This is a big one, too. They're not all, all that big, but this guy is huge. You want to hit him right there in that orange spot. Okay, if you hit him down here in the arms, it does a little bit of damage. But here on this one, you can sometimes you can one shot them. But this big guy like this, you need like two or three shots, and then plus the other guys are hitting them too because they're these the big ones are tough. Quiet sleepwalking in your wake. There are twisted, toothy enemies that can wipe yeah, your group yeah. in nanoseconds. You'll need to avoid them. In Just like in any darkness. game we play, the glow spot. That's where you hit them. So here, use this glue gun right here, and that's just to seal the door to keep those idiots from busting through. 
you know, because there's multiple ways that the, that the enemies can come through and you want to you want to close off. You want them to come through one area. You don't want them to come through with four different areas. So you just use the glue gun. You can shoot them with the glue gun also because it, it freezes them in their spot and their tracks for a, a bit, but then they break out. 15 minutes divvying up resources and walling off choke points before a particularly elaborate encounter only to die. Yeah, look, I mean, they, instantly. when they come busting through like that, guys, watch. Before a particularly elaborate encounter only to it, it, I mean, it's, it's just, die it's just mayhem, man. I mean, <laughs> sometimes there's like 30 of them that just come pouring through and they're all running every which way. So standing on those orange circles I was talking about, that shit goes right out the window, man. Instantly, that difficulty is going to turn off a lot of people who might have ventured into it is it's, casually. It's difficult, but it's fun though. Greatly enjoy GTFO's willingness to punish your group over and over again until you produce results. It's an old school sensibility. We've watched games become increasingly streamlined over the years, but GTFO is a loud, proud step in the reverse direction. This philosophy is exemplified so, by the fact that. So this right here. One one of the team members, he or she has to actually go to this computer and <clears throat> find out where there's health packs, uh, which way to go, like the item that you're picking up, ammo. I mean, you literally have to get into this computer system here and type in stuff. So you, so you, it just helps you. Make. It takes a lot to get um, to get used to, but once you once you figure out how everything works, it's a lot of fun. And you need, I don't. Don't play with bots. Play with your friends, friend, guys that you know, because you have to talk to people. If you come in here and just try to just wing it, and no one's talking, you're dead, man. You have to, you have to communicate. Just to find your way around, one party member will need to yeah. jump onto a computer terminal yep. and use a DOS command prompt to <laughs> yeah. say locate help. Pack so did you see that where he's typing at? What? Watch this. Command prompt to right here, right here on the bottom. Um, he's actually putting it so you can ping where the ammo's at and that's how you find it. But you literally have to get in there and type. A, a lot of the game, you're doing a lot of searching for stuff, for ammo, health packs, <clears throat> all, uh, you know, lights, all kinds of stuff, the glue, the glue uh, canisters. But it's, it's even just searching when you're not really in the battle. It's still fun, man. It's creepy. It's dark. You've got your boys that are, you know, you're talking to. It's fun, guys. I freaking love it. Locate health packs or uncover a key card. On top of that, there is no generous sign posting yeah. in the complex. Instead, everybody shares a Yeah, so everybody everybody can log on the map. And so what me and um my friends did, we all got on the map and then just one guy talks. Okay, no one no one talks over because it gets too you know too confusing. We have one guy talk, which everybody everybody can draw on the map. So like this, like this guy's drawing right here. And it, it works out pretty good. And also another thing you have to look for is key cards. Because that's how you open up, let's see, locate, locator beacon, door, computer terminal. Okay, this is this like a ledger resource container. Ammo pack. You'd be surprised how quick you can run out of ammo, man. And you have to use that freaking hammer. The map that can be drawn on with their cursor as if you're stewing over a midnight. Yeah. So this is your team right here. And boldly, every so often, developer Ten Chambers is willing to throw. Now you can act, you can sneak up to these enemies. You can get right here without them hearing you. But if somebody makes one sound, this they all alert, and it's over, man. You have to be absolute silent, no noise at all. Throw out all of its existing maps and replace them with a fresh batch to ensure they never get stale. That is not to say that GT So this right here, guys, he's using um <clears throat> right here. It's a tar turret turret. And what you do is um <clears throat> where the enemies are gonna come through, like this door right here, you just put the, the turret down. I don't know, is it turret or turret? I don't know. You put it down and it just it just pops those guys as they're coming through, man. It's pretty effective, but eventually it runs out of bullets, and that ass is mine after that. Have any you modern shooter trappings. Each level is laden with limited use perks that can yeah. be deployed on future expeditions, and all of them offer some rote boost to typical FPS attributes. And if your team member, member like walks in front of the gun turret, 
Uh, you it, you know you won't get shot. There's no friend. There's uh, no friendly fire. Now you can shoot your own teammates. That's for sure. Notably, though, this is a completely microtransaction free game. Yeah, it is. But all of this stuff felt pretty tacked on and weirdly contrary to the rest of the hardcore GTFO ethos. This is a video game where you might need to hold off a band of mutants. So he's putting glue down to keep these guys from coming, man. He punches code words into a computer. After that, it's a yeah. little weird to return to the lobby where everyone straps on 7%. So let me go back After just a bit. That, a so right here, this is where everybody, we, me and my friends, we go through Discord. That's how we talk. It was just the easiest way for us. To, but <clears throat> like it says, not ready right here. What happens is you have to select, you have to select the weapon that you want. And then you have to select a specialty weapon that you're going to carry. Each member has to do that. And then once that's done, then everybody will change to ready. And then it's time to get to real. To the lobby where everyone straps on 7% increases to projectile resistance. And you can heal teammates too when they're down. After two years in early access, yeah. GTFO's 1.0 release marks some of its first overtures to a mainstream audience. For the first time ever, we get some conservative checkpoints. Your progress will no longer be fully deleted after a team wipe. Yeah, it, that's new right there. They didn't have it the first time. Party with if you don't have a full squad of trusted friends ready to go at all no, times. Play, play with your the friends, AI man. Is surprisingly competent. But don't let those compromises with accessibility fool you. GTFO remains a game built for a group of human beings yep. in constant communication. You gotta, you gotta talk, man. The main menu contains a link to the official. So Discord. let me show this, sir, guys. You see this one guy, fact, the, the team member. Let's see. Group of human okay, this guy right here. Let me go back just a little bit more. Okay, this guy uh, right here. He's sneaking up. And that's what you do. You send one guy here, one team member here, and then one team member over here to take these guys down. And then when you get close, we used to just do a countdown. One, two, three. And then we would clock them with a hammer. Because if you shoot and there's other enemies around, I'm telling you, they hear a pin drop and they're on you, man. They all alert. GTFO remains a game built for a oh, oh, I forgot, guys. This is important, too. So you'll see this... This guy right here, you'll see this enemy, he stretches, okay? Watch. When they stretch like that, you can't be moving. Competent, but don't let see how he's, he's moving around like that? Whenever they stretch like that, a game built for a group of be careful, man. In constant communication. In fact, the main menu contains a link to the official Discord, which yeah. is good because yeah. the Discord. matchmaking system is hit or miss. Yeah, whenever they stretch like that, we would just all freeze. Subject to all of the social annoyances parceled with so many cooperative games. These levels are long, some more they than are. two hours total, and it really sucks when someone drops out halfway through. Yeah, that's why you want to pay with your boys, some man. Sort of save function so parties could cut our losses. Would it really violate the GTFO doctrine to allow us to call a session at 2 a.m. and return the next morning and give it another shot without starting from the beginning? That said, rarely has a game so brilliantly put us on a high wire. In GTFO's advanced mission, so what they're doing as soon as you as soon as you open up a door, sometimes there's enemies standing right there. As soon as you open the door, and it's dark as hell, so you throw these chem lights out there so you can see. I don't I don't remember if they react to like flashlight. I think they might, and that's why we were using the chem sticks. He has a game so brilliantly put us on a high wire. It's fun though, man. It, it is intense. As the party ventures into another dingy chamber, teaming with monsters that could send the whole swarm. Yeah, you just throw your chem lights out to these guys. You might find that everyone's voice is reduced. And when, once they stretch no like that, freeze. The screen, Don't even breathe. Doesn't feel right to like that when they're moving. That level of immersion can only be achieved when four players are ensconced in total blackness, scribbling instructions on a map. Fearing a wipe around every corner. Yeah, the whole team gets wiped out. The knowledge that GTFO will break your spirit and <laughs> mash you into a pulp, yep. and that only then will you feel alive. GTFO is an uncompromising. It is, man. It's it's a fun game, guys. Formula. Only thing is, it's for PC only, man. Three friends who you know for a fact are capable of coordinating together. Yep, to three friends. Horrific, yep. fleshy monstrosities while navigating through advanced Destiny-style raid mechanics. With the right party and with the right amount of patience, GTFO eventually reveals itself as one of the most rewarding cooperative experiences yep. out there. A lot of fun, so pretty intense, violent. Seem completely uninterested in testing our abilities, but when you hit the extraction point in GTFO, 
It truly feels yep. like escaping the jaws of death. It is fun, for man. Co-op shooters, check out our reviews of Back for Blood. So, all right, guys. There it is. Let me see if they say anything else. All right, there it is. All right, guys. My name is Pitman. Thanks for watching.